Welcome to This Week in Astrology. This is episode number 646 for March 16 through 31, 2024. A Libra lunar eclipse and the spring equinox chart highlight the second half of March. We also have Mars aspecting Chiron and Jupiter, Venus connecting with Jupiter and Saturn, and a Sun-Neptune conjunction. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm your host, Benjamin Bernstein. I record these forecasts as an audio podcast and a video, so take your pick. The video version includes detailed chart graphics, which you can also see in my written forecasts at astroshaman.com. Be sure to subscribe to This Week in Astrology in your preferred app. And if you haven't already, be sure to click the link in the show notes for two chances to win a free Astrology Plus session with me each month. In fact, I announce our March winner during this episode. As of March 16, the moon is waxing, there are no retrograde planets, and we have one continuing aspect pattern. See details and links to all this in the show notes. All right, let's get into it. Sunday, March 17, a Sun-Neptune conjunction at 27 Pisces empowers your spiritual awakening, unconditional love, and living more consistently in the zone. This aspect is also great for conscious dreaming and dream interpretation. All this is even stronger with both planets in Pisces, the sign with the same energy as Neptune. On Tuesday, March 19, the sun enters Aries at 11.06 p.m. EDT, marking the spring equinox. With the sun in Aries for the next month, you can take bolder action as a warrior, pioneer, sexual being, or entrepreneur. This is awesome, just do it energy. Astrology charts for the equinoxes and solstices show key energies for that season. My interpretation is valid anywhere in the world since I am not discussing astrological houses. The spring equinox chart has lots of potent conjunctions. I interpreted the Sun-Neptune conjunction a moment ago for March 17. I'll interpret Venus conjunct Saturn on March 21 later in this episode. A triple conjunction of Mercury, Chiron, and the North Node potently empowers learning and wisdom sharing aligned with life purpose. With everything in Aries, you're encouraged to be bold and proactive with this. Next, Jupiter conjunct Uranus, which will be exact on April 20th, is by far the strongest factor in the spring equinox chart. What follows are some shadow qualities between Jupiter and Uranus, followed by lots of positive qualities. These are drawn with the author's generous permission from Ren Butler's magnificent book. It's called The Archetypal Universe, Astrological Patterns in Human Culture, Thought, Emotion, and Dreams. I've linked that in the show notes. Best book I've ever seen on two and three planet combos. Anyhow, shadow qualities of Jupiter and Uranus together, manic and impulsive excesses, intolerance of any level of structure or commitment, unrealistic urges for freedom outweighing everything else, unwillingness to cooperate, unbridled eccentricity, unreliable and impractical nature, ongoing wanderlust and impatience, irresponsible or ineffective rebellion, false breakthroughs, flash in the pan delusions, a Christ complex, cravings for glory, delusions of genius, and self-righteous genius. But there's plenty of positive potentials. Thank God, here they are. Dramatic breakthroughs and quantum leaps, rebirth and awakening, surprising resolution of problems, expanded horizons, changes of fortune or philosophy, incurable and infectious optimism, access to new layers or realms of experience, the light at the end of the tunnel, a eureka moment, feelings of universal redemption, everything around you coming vibrantly alive, freedom for all, maximum liberation, divine inspiration to become as God, flashes of greatness, ascendancy of the liberal humanitarian and progressive impulses, and surges of cultural flowering. Wow. I suggest that you focus on the positive potentials of Jupiter and Uranus. Finally, we have a kite with Venus, Ceres, Juno, Jupiter, and Saturn. This is the final significant astrological influence in the spring equinox chart. Two relationship planets set the theme for this aspect pattern. Venus, ruler of relationships, and Juno, the asteroid goddess of committed partnership. The grain goddess Ceres as the themes of harvest and abundance, while Jupiter contributes expansion, good luck, and joy. Saturn brings it all down to Earth, helping you establish an enduring structure to support your connection. Now, all of this won't be true for every relationship, 
if a relationship is not best for you both, either because healing is needed or you two should not be partnered, these planets could create challenge. In this case, Ceres could bring up old traumas. Saturn could create obstacles that bring the relevant difficulties front and center. And Jupiter could expand all this so you simply have to deal with it. This is a fundamentally harmonious aspect pattern, so it will bring ease and flow where that is appropriate. If you're having a different relational experience, this could be a good time to examine what needs to be healed or released. I'll be right back with my lunar eclipse interpretation and much more. Do you feel disconnected in some of your relationships, as if an invisible barrier stands between you and those you love? Do you crave real intimacy but find it hard to establish and maintain? Do you want to create healthy boundaries that are empowering but not alienating? If you are experiencing relationship challenges, and who isn't these days, then join us. Thrive Healers Network, hosted by Andrew Alamar, invites you to a free series that kicks off on March 15. It's called Uncover the Secrets of How the Power of Love Heals. Love can heal every aspect of our lives, including our most intimate relationship, the one with ourselves. Our inspiring speakers will share their heartfelt insights with you. They've unraveled many of love's mysteries and can help you make love work better in your life. This transformative series will dive deep into love's potentials and can help you create lasting change. 35 expert presenters, including me, will give you essential insights straight from the heart. Registration is free and you'll get links to the recorded events in your inbox. It's easy to participate and could take your relationships to the next level. Embrace this chance to transform your understanding of love and harness its healing power. Click the link in the show notes to register for free, but don't wait too long because it is a limited time series. And once it's gone, it is gone. All right, back to our forecast. Thursday, March 21st. Ready to get serious about your relationships, finances, and creativity? You're supported by a Venus-Saturn conjunction at 12 degrees Pisces. As I mentioned earlier, this is also part of my spring equinox interpretation. In addition to being serious, Saturn may also reveal any structural weaknesses in these areas. If challenges arise, determine what needs to be repaired or released. Be sure to supplement your physical activities with creative visualization. With Saturn in Pisces, you have extra juju for law of attraction work. And I do have a link to my law of attraction post in the show notes. Finally, with Venus and Pisces, energetic blending with other beings and inspired creativity are amplified. On Sunday, March 24th, you can harmoniously and energetically amplify your finances, creativity, and relationships with Venus sextile Jupiter, Venus 16 Pisces, Jupiter 16 Taurus. Plus, law of attraction magic gets easier with Venus in visionary Pisces and Jupiter in grounded Taurus. As with that March 21st Venus-Saturn conjunction, Venus's placement in Pisces supports inspired creativity and energetic blending with others. On Monday, March 25th, a lunar eclipse illuminates the sky at 3 a.m. EDT. That's at 5 degrees, 7 minutes, Libra. A lunar eclipse is a supercharged full moon whose effects last at least six months. Any Libra full moon is ideal for release or adjustment in relationships and creativity, as well as balance, harmony, and equality. This is a penumbral eclipse visible in the Americas and much of Western Europe, but the moon won't be much dimmer than usual, and it might be hard to see much difference. This eclipse does not gain much strength from its moon-south node conjunctions since they're more than 10 degrees apart, but it does get a boost from the moon's aspects to the three outer planets. The moon's strongest connection is a super tight sesquare of 135 degrees with Uranus. This encourages you to be your authentic self, follow your intuitive hits, and serve others with your favorite special talents. Uranus also shares Libra's love of community and equality. A sesquare is a minor hard aspect, so you might encounter some friction as you step into these Uranian activities. A moon Pluto trine can make it easier for you to step into your power and attract prosperity. You can also enjoy greater flow in your transformational and healing work. My free healing invocation has helped thousands heal old traumas with surprising ease and speed that is linked in the show notes. 
A wide Moon-Neptune opposition is the loosest of the outer planet aspects, but it can still bump up your inspired creativity, help you stay more consistently in flow state, and support your spiritual practices. Speaking of spiritual practices, another of my free invocations for embodied awakening can help you quickly and easily merge your higher self with your personality. The life-transforming benefits of this are beyond description, but they are awesome. That's also linked in the show notes. And then finally, the moon sextiles Pallas Athena. This aspect can harmoniously energize your feminine assertiveness. It can also help your skills as a strategist, diplomat, and mediator. This lunar eclipse's Sabian symbol is, quote, a man watches his ideals taking concrete form before his inner vision, end quote. So this lunation also supports your law of attraction manifestations. On Wednesday, March 27, unhealed traumas could get triggered with Mars semi-square Chiron. Mars fires things up and Chiron is the wounded healer. It's a good time to have a quick and effective shadow work technique handy, such as my free healing invocation. Fortunately, this aspect also energizes healing and mentoring, whether you're giving or receiving. And Mars and Pisces can help you take smooth, intuitively guided action in flow state. On Thursday, March 28th, your actions can be magically inspired as Mars quintiles Jupiter. That's Mars 5 Pisces, Jupiter 17 Taurus. With Mars and Pisces, spiritual and creative activities get special support. Also, would you like to speed up your healing and awakening as part of an uplifting community with hundreds of dedicated awakeners? Then check out Awakening Plus, my online membership that can put your personal transformation into high gear. You can choose from about a dozen Zoom calls every month, as well as an ever-expanding archive of over 650 events that can profoundly change your life. You'll also benefit from three major courses and much more to help you awaken, heal, and thrive. Click the link in the show notes to learn more or go to awakeningplus.com. That's awakeningplus.com. Also, here's a five-star Amazon review of my number one best-selling book. The review is titled, Really Works. Jennifer Kostelik wrote this, quote, This book was a great find. I was looking for affirmation ideas, and this came up, and it is wonderful. It is a quick read, and the instructions are easy. I have become much more aware of my emotions and how I am handling life. Saying these affirmations really makes a difference I can feel very quickly. It's like as many resets as I need throughout the day with many wonderful insights along the way. What a gift, end quote. As I mentioned earlier, my book's 15-word title is Instant Divine Assistance, Your Complete Guide to Fast and Easy Spiritual Awakening, Healing, and More. If you'd like to listen, my audiobook is free if you are not yet an Audible member. Instant Divine Assistance is also available as an ebook, paperback, and hardcover. Click a link in the show notes to check it out on Audible or Amazon or read it in Kindle Unlimited. I also host another podcast called Awaken, Heal, and Thrive. Learn fast and easy tools for awakening, healing, and more. Gain wisdom from enlightening guests and enjoy mind-bending ayahuasca stories. I drop two new episodes each month. Check out the latest episode called The Day I Foolishly Dared Ayahuasca to Give Me Her Best Shot. Click the link in the show notes or search for Awaken, Heal, and Thrive wherever you get audio or video podcasts. As I announced earlier, I am announcing our March free session winner. Her name is Norma, N-O-R-M-A, the only Norma who has signed up. So if that's you, please email me, benjamin at astroshaman.com, and we'll get you set up with your free Astrology Plus session with me. Congratulations, Norma. And to you, thank you for being here. Once again, I'm Benjamin Bernstein with astroshaman.com. I can serve you with astrology readings, shamanic healing, and one-of-a-kind life coaching. All my one-on-one -on -one services are equally effective in person or long distance. And as I mentioned, I run the Awakening Plus online membership for spiritual support. You can learn about all this and more at astroshaman.com. Please reach out if you have any questions. My email is benjamin at astroshaman.com. And my number for voice and text is 828 338-9852. I'd love to connect with you.
We are wrapping up. Please leave me a five-star rating, review, or comment wherever you're getting this episode so others who also love astrology and spirituality can find it. And be sure to check out my Instant Divine Assistance book and audiobook and my Awaken, Heal, and Thrive podcast. Thanks again for spending this time with me. I wish you infinite blessings as the stars light your way.